Hello Aquarius, welcome to a love reading all about what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. What are their intentions for the near future or their intentions towards you, towards this connection? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, let's jump right in for Libra, uh, not Libra, Aquarius. Why did I want to say Libra? For Aquarius. For Aquarius, sir. Some of you might be dealing with someone that has Libra in their chart. All right, for Aquarius spirit, what do we need to know about the person that Aquarius is thinking about connecting with at this time? What are their energies towards Aquarius? What are they thinking, feeling towards Aquarius at this time? What are they thinking, feeling towards Aquarius at this time? Page of Swords. Knight of Swords and the Lovers. Wow, Gemini energy. Well, communication, the truth. Very important here with the Page of Swords, Knight of Swords. I feel like they're thinking about talking to you about your connection. The Lovers could be an indication that um, there's a strong connection between you and this person. Maybe this is like someone that feels you're their soulmate, vice versa. Let's see, what do they wanna say? What's this message about? Tell me about the Page of Swords. I'm actually gonna combine these. Tell me about the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords. What do we need to know, Spirit, about this Page of Swords and Knight of Swords? What do we need to know for Aquarius? Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, these two. Four of Stones, which is the Four of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay, can I get one more? Page of Swords, Knight of Swords. Page of Swords, Knight of Swords. The Magician. Okay, the Tower at the bottom of the deck. So right away, when I saw the Four of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, I thought someone has held back because of fear um, or anxiety over the future. Seven of Pentacles. There's an uncertainty with the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is like someone's not sure all of their effort will pay off. They're not sure what the future brings. They're not sure if there will be success. And the Four of Pentacles is kind of like holding back or protecting something of value. Um, so it's almost like, and then the magician tells me that there's something that someone wants to achieve. There's something that someone wants. And so they're willing to work for it with the magician. I feel like someone has manifested this connection or has manifested you, Aquarius, and they're just anxious about something in the future. And then the tower tells me, maybe they're wondering if a tower will happen or if a tower is like something to be expected here. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, maybe this is someone wondering if luck is on their side, if things will work out, if they will be fortunate, lucky, if there will be events that are set in motion. The fool at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I feel like whoever has something to say to you, Aquarius, I feel like it could go either way. Tell me about the magician. Or at least that's how they're picturing it. You know, whatever conversation I have with Aquarius, it could be a complete failure, or I could actually have luck on my side. Tell me about the magician. Why is the magician here? What's this about? Judgment. Oh my goodness. And then the temperance card at the bottom of the deck. Sagittarius energy with temperance, but judgment. Okay, whatever this person is wanting to manifest or work on, I feel like it's... It's about maybe fixing something or 
starting over or perhaps like I'm picturing someone that, you know, they've had a change of heart, whoever this is. That's not necessarily what judgment means, but it's almost like, especially with temperance, like they're trying to achieve some sort of balance or achieve some sort of like wheel of fortune. But what they're scared of is the tower. And so I'm wondering, why would they be scared of the tower? Why would they hold back, right? And I think it's because something could have happened here between you and this person, Aquarius, where now they're wondering, have you had a change of heart? Will you accept the fact that they've changed? Will you accept something different, a second chance? Hmm. Okay, tell me about the lovers. Tell me about the lovers. Why is the lovers here? Six of cups, six of wands. My goodness. Yeah, this is somebody that wants this to work out. This connection is very special. This could be a soulmate, Aquarius. Six of cups, six, um, the lovers together. Bottom of the deck is the five of swords, though. So I feel like at some point there was some sort of conflict here. Tell me about the lovers. Tell me about the lovers. Queen of Swords. Oh yeah, they definitely want to talk to you. Now the Queen of Swords is not um, easy to talk to or easy to approach. This could very well be you. This is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. The, the current theme is the truth, information, communication. Queen of Swords, they just care about the truth. This could be how you're approaching you know, because it's almost like, or how you're approaching this whole thing. Because I feel like this person is like, I love you. I feel a strong connection. I feel like we're meant to be. I feel like you're my soulmate, right? But then I, I see you on the other side being like, I want to just talk about the facts. Or I want to just discuss things honestly. Everything else is almost like, um, not really what you are. It's not like you don't care, but it, it, it's not priority. Bottom of the deck is the five of cups disappointment, past regrets, looking back on the past with regret. Um, five of Cups is also a card about loss. So, you know, with the Five of Swords that showed up, the Five of Cups, I feel like something definitely happened in this connection that was disappointing or it was, you know, a conflict of some sort. Maybe that's why you're this Queen of Swords at this time. Or at least when this person, you know, comes towards you because they definitely have something to say they just don't know if they will if it will go the way that they hope right or they expect um and there's a reason for that They're, this person's not dumb you know i almost feel like they want to be very careful about how they approach you or about how they say this because they need to make sure that they have the six of wands success right the wheel of fortune Okay, so let's see a little bit more about this person's energy. Tell me about this person's energy, the person that Aquarius is thinking about or connecting with. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's energies? What do we need to know, Spirit? Wishing well. Your wish is being granted. So they have a wish, a desire when it comes to you. The Magician, very similar to the Magician energy. <coughs> Excuse me. Spirit, can you give us some insight on this person's thoughts, feelings towards Aquarius? I'm having a hard time talking. <laughs> can you give me some insight, please, on what this person is thinking, feeling? When it comes to Aquarius or this connection, what are they thinking, feeling? I want these two. I don't want to lose you. You matter to me. Okay. So again, I feel like, you know, on their end, the connection is very strong, but now I see that I don't want to lose you. So that's why this seven of pentacles is here. 
bottom of the deck, I would take it all back if I could. Okay, so there's definitely some sort of regret here when it comes to the past, when it comes to some sort of action this person took, maybe action they didn't take, but I feel like this is them, you know, maybe w wishing they could take back something they said or did. What else, what else? What else do we need to know? Okay. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. So I feel like the ins um, you and this person are probably not together, Aquarius. Something happened to separate you or cause a divide. Um, and this person is not over you. I look for you everywhere. Yeah. They're still not over you. And they don't want to lose you for good is what I'm seeing here. Okay, so let's get some insight into their intentions. Spirit, what are their intentions for the near future when it comes to Aquarius or this connection? This person's intentions for the near future when it comes to Aquarius or this connection. What are their intentions for the near future, Spirit? What are their intentions? with Aquarius the world okay death Scorpio energy and three of wands hmm. well the world is all about endings and new beginnings a cycle closing for a cycle to open up death to me is like that um, energy of a change of heart or a change, a transformation, because death is also about changes. So let's get some insight here. Tell me about death. Why is death here? Why is death here? They might just want to put all of this to rest. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Tell me about the death card. me about the death card why is death here it's almost like they want to just all this difficulty all of this baggage four of pentacles again and the king of wands aries leo sagittarius energy i feel like all this baggage all this weight on their shoulders everything that they've been carrying it's like they want that to be over because they are thinking about a new beginning and so they cannot have this new beginning if the the past is still a problem what's at the bottom of the deck yeah temperance sagittarius energy temperance once again harmony resolution things being balanced again tell me about the world why is the world here why is the world here guys Ace of Wands, new beginning, new passionate beginning. Sorry about my dogs. They, um, I think I just got an Amazon package. <laughs> the Ace of Wands is all about a passionate new beginning, a new start. This person's like obsessed with this, uh, with a new start. Their intentions is to have a new beginning with you. Tell me about the world. That's I feel their biggest wish, their biggest desire. Tell me about the world. Oh, seven of swords. Yeah. And you know, I even picture like this person, the door is closed. The door is closed. They can't get in because of their past behavior. And I also get the sense that this person possibly hasn't told you this either. Maybe since the door is closed, they can't tell you that this is what they want with you, right? Because I feel like this person is looking for you everywhere because you're not there. You're not available, you're not easy to talk to, or they cannot talk to you. Can I get some more um, about this world energy? Seven of Cups. I feel like this person has no idea how to make this happen. They're just hopeful. Seven of Cups is about options, choices, you know? What options do I have? Because the door is closed to me. I don't have access, or I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm far away from the person I wanna be with. 
Uh, the person that I want to be with is out of reach, you know? What do I do? And I feel like that's why the Three of Wands is also here. It's like they're waiting for some sort of result, some sort of response. Waiting for the right time. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Nine of Wands. Waiting for your guard to drop or for you not to be um, so, so guarded, so resistant to this. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Justice. Libra energy. I knew Libra would show up. Again, I sense that you are not swayed by emotion. You're all about the objective truth, the facts. I, I sense that you have like this wall between you and this person because of maybe past hurts. And so when it comes time to talk things out, you don't want to just sweep things under the rug, Aquarius. You don't want to just ignore the past. You want to address the past, I feel. And I also get the sense that, you know, for you, it's very important that this person is a changed person. Um, words are not enough in this instance. Can we get one more energy for this person? One more energy, please, for this person that Aquarius is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? I am determined to make things right. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm getting here. It's like this person, they really want this new start. And they would need to fix things to have that. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for all of your support. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.